Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In the previous lecture, we have seen about a multiple talent components in Talent Open Studio 7.0. And in this video, I am going to explain about a, a couple more uh, similar components like T iterate to flow as well as T flow to iterate. Uh, so in this video, I am going to explain about T iterate to flow. In the coming video, I am going to explain about uh, T flow to iterate and both are similar and uh, both will relate to the concept is very similar, but just a few modifications need to be done. Mm, let us go for T iterate to flow. Okay guys, first of all let me remove this code and I'm saving this. So let me open the file that I want to show. So this is the input folder that I want to consider now. I'm considering this. So what I want to show is uh, I want let me illustrate to you with an example. Now I am using T file list here. T file list. So this is the start component and the directory is uh, this one or else let me redirect to this this PC documents term videos yeah so this is the folder that I want and what I want is inside that I want only the files I don't want any directories so that's why I'm mentioning it as only files and then uh, I want to mention the file mask as well. What are the file mask that I want is uh, .txt files. So whatever the .txt files are there, I want to place all those things. So star. So whatever may be the name, I want to retrieve all the files which are starting with the uh, .txt. So I am placing it. So total we have I think uh, three to four files are there with the .txt files. So let me retrieve this. Now what we have is we have T file list what it will do it will go to that particular path and it will select all the like files are with dot txt now what i am doing is i am placing t iterate to flow so what it will do is t iterate to flow so it will iterate in between these two components and then one second yeah you need to connect uh, you need to connect row with iterate with the t iterate to flow so what it will do is it will keep on iterating all the files and then only it will allow that flow to allow that uh, output to flow so what the uh, like what the t iterate to flow will do is suppose if we have total 100 re 100 records in t file list and 100 files in that particular folder then what it will do is it uh, the t iterate flow will will collect all that particular t all that particular 100 files and then only whatever the output component that is connected to tier rate to flow then that is connected to like that is sent that will send to the next output flow so let me uh, uh, send the output so the tier rate to flow is there and the schema should be one second yeah schema should be file name file name Yeah, how what if you get is whenever if you get is then it will be getting global map dot current underscore file. Yeah, it automatically gets the file from this one to this particular path. Now what I am doing is I am making T map here, making connecting this output to T map. So what I am doing here is in the input file we are getting T map as the output. But in the output file, I want one more column. I want to drag and drop this. And one more column is date. The date column. So here I am using date column as the talent function. Talent function get current date with string pattern or else uh, get current date. yeah so i am clicking apply here okay and then t log row
connecting this sync columns and table print so what it will do is first of all it will collect all the files and then what tilt red flow will do is it will collect all the files which are present in the corresponding folder that you mentioned in the t file list and or it whatever once it collects all the files then only it will go to the t map one with all the files as input and from t map one it will go output as t log group so let us run also showing some output here okay I forgot to mention some date here date is not a string which is a date and the string will be like uh, yeah yes okay so i am running it again oh, again error cannot convert object to string here they are getting string here we need to change a few things here one is the file is a string and for date we need to mention talent date one function is there talent date dot get current date so which is the schema and i need to change the data type as well to string for a date and the date format is like something year with seconds i'm clicking apply and okay yeah now and one more thing i want to change here is uh, here the current file is a object but i want to make that as a string i want to copy this and paste it here the file name yeah now whatever the file name that we will be getting here will come here and let us see what is the timing that we will be getting in the output let us keep it as a table and sync columns saving it and if i run this so if you observe this as per my expectation the output should contain all the files which having the dot txt and with the same out, uh, same timing so if you consider the output so total we have a total five t txt files in that particular folder and if you observe the file like time then we will be having complete timestamp as the same so what simply we can say is the t iterate flow will execute as first of all it will do the iterate operations for all the five things like for all the for all the file names or file records that we have and then only it will allow those files to one of the those files to the next processing elements uh, all at a time that is why we are getting the date as a unique like at a single second so this is the all about the tier trade to flow guys in the coming video i am going to explain about t flow to trade thank you for watching